subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can install mac os on your windows 10 pc so basically you're going to have a window pc and you're going to run the mac operating system virtually so you're going to need some softwares for it so you're going to click on the link in the video's description and my website's page will open up in the website page there will be four different links you have to click them one by one when you're going to press on the first link this page will open virtual box and here it says virtual box 5.2.30 and here it says windows host you're going to press on windows host and it's going to download virtual box so the next thing is mac os high sierra itself which is the operating system of macbooks so you're going to press on download and it's going to download it it's about a 6 GB file and the third thing is the key which we are going to use when we are going to install the Mac operating system and the fourth thing is WinRAR which you are going to download so that you can unzip the files. So once you have downloaded all the required things you are going to go to the search bar and here you can type Windows Defender Firewall here it is press on it now here it says turn windows defender firewall on or off press on it and you're going to turn off both the things when you're going to install the mac operating system after that you are going to enable it so here is the folder that contains virtual box and the mac os itself i have extracted it when you're going to install winrar after that you can extract it by right clicking on it and pressing on extract here and this is the mac os so you're going to right click on virtual box and run as administrator preparing to install next next create a start menu and trees create a desktop shortcut ok next yes and install so now it will install oracle virtual box which is basically a software on which our mac operating will run virtually so why do you need mac operating system well if you don't have the budget to buy a mac operating system and you want to use some of the features exclusive features uh, of mac operating system then you are going to use this setup so you want to uncheck the box and press on finish now you're going to right click on it and run as administrator now this is very important if you don't run it as an administrator it will show you an error while you're going to install the operating system here it says new press on it name you can name it anything mine is or i'm going to name it mac os hi sarah okay here it says mac os type and the version mac os here use an existing virtual hard disk press on this folder icon and now you're going to browse wherever you have downloaded the mac os uh, uh, file which i told you that was about 6 gb file here it is open and i'm going to allocate 4 gigabytes of ram to the virtual machine since i have total of 8 so i'm going to give half to the virtual machine when it is in use and half to the main windows pc create so now you're going to go to settings Go to system, uncheck floppy, ok, go to processors, I am going to give it 4 processors since I have 8 CPUs, go to display, take it up to 128MB which is the maximum, after that go to storage or maybe shared folder and you are going to press on this folder icon, folder path, press on this drop down menu and others. So let me explain what, what this shared folder means, means that whatever data that you are going to do that is going to be stored on your virtual machine it will be actually stored in this shared folder. So you can choose any folder I have already made an empty folder named as Mac OS system storage. It's an empty folder I am just going to select this folder so that the things that are saved on the Mac OS are saved on this folder and I can access them easily. Select folder 
okay 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 now i am not going to run it except i'm going to go to search i'm going to type cmd i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to run it as an administrator now now the code comes in so here is the code you can see here it says copy for virtual box file so you're going to copy this code from here to here right click on it or control c to copy go to your desktop new text document open it control v to paste now you have to replace where it says your virtual machine name to the name that you have allocated so as you saw i have given it the name mac os i sierra so i'm going to uh, copy this i'm going to go to edit replace i'm going to paste it here your virtual name and the thing which i want to replace it with so if i go to settings here it says mac os i sierra copy it and i'm going to exit virtual machine or virtual box i'm going to paste the name here of my virtual machine or operating system and i'm going to press on replace all and you have saw that it has replaced all the names now you all you have to do is you have to copy all these seven files one by one Control c copy Control v paste and enter and you have to do it seven times for all these seven files So here is the last file or oh, last line control C control V and enter okay I have copied all the lines one by one I'm going to close it this as well save and now I'm going to right click on virtual box and I'm going to run it as an administrator and I'm going to start the machine So you can see that the machine is starting up so it will take some time depending on your main system requirement if you have 8 GB you have allocated for it will take some time but if you have 16 GB then it will definitely move faster so I'm just going to forward the video and I'm going to show you the main desktop so here you can see that I have the Mac OS operating system on my Windows PC you can see everything so it is running mac os high sierra if you want to run the latest version that is i think mac os Java or mojava i don't know how you pronounce it you can get that as well you have to go to the app store and here you're going to type in mojava i think it's spelling is m-o-j-a-v-a but i really don't know its pronunciation anyways this is how you can get mac os on your windows 10 operating system if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any type of questions write them in the comment section below and all the download links will be in the video's description